Hello and welcome back to Token Craft. We are finally ready to do some crafting. I've been doing gathering for days and days and days because I haven't been able to record, but I finally got the kids in bed and it's time to play and without all the noise in the background. So let's go ahead and do some crafting. We are on. We need to start the tech tree. So if we go to Shit Quest and we go to Age of Industry. Uh, well, let's get started right here in the world of technology. Technology you feel is ever encroaching power in the, pow in the fourth age of man. Basic wills and hand tools have given way to the machines can do tasks faster, more efficient, and more importantly, by themselves. Show your powers with industry, and show the basic items needed to start the main branches. So we need a machine frame basic. I already made some grout previously. Machine frame basic, sturdy casing, coke oven, tank. An esteemed innovation. So let's get started here. I know I've got some glass. And I'm really looking forward to the ME system. I've got mostly everything we need to get started with the ME system. Actually, I probably have everything we need to get started. I found multiple of all the plates and lots of sky stone. And we are really ready to go, and I've putting off the crafting episodes because I wanted to film them, but with five kids, filming uh, gets to be a lower priority. Alright, now I got sand. Let's just stick the sand in the oven. Alright, so, tank. If I remember right, yep, there's a tank. Is that the right tank? Yes, it is. Good. Alright, so now coke oven, there's dirty casing. I believe we've got some bronze because I like to throw things in the smeltery and just see what comes out. Bronze. And that's my favorite branch of technology is the beekeeping. Ooh, wrong button. Sturdy casing. Done. Machine frame. Let's see, what is that recipe without hard mode? Machine frame basic is. Glass, iron, tin gear. Tin gear is tin around a stone gear. So we need wood. Let's get some wood. And tin. And cobble. Let's see. Do I remember tin gear? Yes. Okay, there's a tin gear. Achievement there. And then we need a cobblestone gear. Great. And then stone gear with tin. Good. And let's see if we got everything we need here. Iron. Good. All right. So now we have coke oven brick. I believe that's clay. And let's see, brick and sand. Please tell me we've got more sand. Yes, we did. Good. Bricks. Okay. Esteemed innovation. I have no idea what that's from. I'm guessing. Flax beard, yes, good. A book, a copper ore, and a zinc ore. I think I've got some ore sitting around. Zinc, copper. Books are in here. I've been dying to craft. Because <laughs> so far behind. Okay, good. So we've got what we need. Claim the reward. Put stuff away, I suppose. Maybe I'll just shove some stuff in here to get it out of the way. And let's see what's in our greater reward bag. Oh, not again. I swear, this is the worst reward run I've ever had of like any questing mod. It's amazing. Potions. This is what I didn't need. Okay, so next. Tinkers, which I've already made all that stuff, so good. Let's claim that reward. It'll be interesting to see how much of this stuff we've already made. 
Oh, heck yeah. All right, finally. Ender stuff. I love ender pouches and tanks and chests. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Because I like to adventure and send all my stuff home to the ender chest to have it imported in the ME system. So that is really happy, happy days. I've been kind of putting all my engineering stuff in here, so let's just put those in here. What? I saw it bouncing. What was going on? Rabbits keep invading my house. I'm definitely moving. I'm tired of hobbits and they're eating and drinking constantly. Alright, so I did that. Okay, and then we've got all kinds of the seared stuff. Let's see, what's on the next other branch? We need a wrench. Is that a gear? Uh, yep, stone gear. Did I keep any of those, or did I craft them all? Nope, stone gear. And iron. Okay. Wrench. And I'll submit. Ooh, it gave me an Omni wrench in exchange. I like that. Alright, cobalt tools in return. Thank you. It could have been useful earlier in the game. All right, so let's see. Next build craft step is a redstone engine. Redstone engine is wood gears, piston, glass planks. Do I have any pistons that I've looted or did I? I don't know if I've. I think I've left them all behind. All right, well, let's get the pistons, planks. I need to drop a redstone here. And. Portable planks, portable planks don't stack. Interesting. All right. Pistons. I never make one of anything, it drives me nuts. Glass. Put the wrench away. Wood gears. And we have a redstone engine. bag for that oh heck yeah this is a great bag so this is Werven armor so we previously got the Werven pick and shovel and the teleport charm but this is the actual armor and this stuff is exactly what we needed fantastic well we are going to be making an energetic infuser for that for sure the sword comes charged just, just a little bit more. We've been using. I'm using my pick actually for damage, for a sword because the pick uh, does tons of damage, but the sword is better than the pick. So that's great. Thank you. Okay, I'm done complaining. About reward bags now. Thank you. <laughs> so, we have to have. We had to have that weapon armor to be able to take down that boss um, from the first quest. So that is really, really, really good news. I am so excited about that. Okay, so next on the tree here is an oil bucket and a fuel bucket. Now, we got a couple ways of doing this because I made a miscraft world. I'm sorry I made that without you, but the, most of these, all these worlds are random. I just basically stuck a link page in in the book and went. And the, however, this last book I made, um, age 13, um, I actually put some thought into it, and if you, I don't know if I can actually pull this and throw it on the desk and show you what that contains. Maybe let's see. Yes. Okay. So this is what I put into it. I said I want a flat world with no weather, cherry blossom grove. I don't know. I don't really get that. Um, normal sun, meteors, no seas, and endstone block. Um, I'm sure I, I, I didn't. You know, concern and syntax at all. I just threw the pages in because basically I wanted endstone. 
and uh, I got it. I got we got some end stone. Let me show you what that looks like real quick. Not to get sidetracked, but. Now, anytime you go to a Mistcraft World, you want to have uh, your charm in your hand. What a weird sound. What is that? I had my sound off earlier because I was watching videos with the family. I don't know what that sound is. But anyway, what, what basically what's hap what, it, what this whole world is, is the end, pretty much. The syntax is obviously off. Fairly stable. I don't have any negative effects. Oh, <laughs> I added meteors. <laughs> meteors are falling down and blowing up again. One cool thing about this world is the mine shafts, because you can basically walk up to them and say, "Hey, look, there's a treasure right there," and I'm just gonna grab it and steal all your goodness. Fly right up to him and steal everything out of him. A rare treasure? Ooh. I've never seen that before. That's gonna be interesting. You gotta watch your head with this stupid bat form. The hitbox is still off. It hasn't been fixed in this latest update. We're currently updated the newest version of the mod pack. But the morph seems to be having problems. Yeah, so anyways, this I just wanted to show you real quick what this looks like. It's just stupid easy to get treasure. This stone's nice. Cool. Alright, let me head back. So we got the end stone from that, which is nice. That's basically the main. Now, the reason I thought about that is because we can use... I found a fuel page. Uh, that actually has oil in that dimension, and I believe... Where did I put that oil? I think the oil is in here. Or not. So I grabbed a bucket of oil when I was in that dimension. We have a world with destabilized redstone, too, which is handy as well. Um, we got a dragon egg from that, and we need to use that actually. So let's go back to the quest journal. There's a flight of the dragons here. You thought Ender Dragon was the only one? Time to find the whole new world. Because of their use, you can also find dragon eggs in the dungeon rare, loot rarely. Well, it's not that rare. I found them all over the place. I've got stacks of them. In dragon mounts, there are six types of dragons you can raise fire, water, air, ender, frost, for forest, bone. And a secret one. Fire is born when hatched near lava or fire, water. Well, you guessed it. I'll let you find out the rest. So let's go ahead and submit that and claim a reward. And is this repeatable? No, that's okay. There are be dragons. This wants a yellow choke. Let's see, dragons are cool, but there's also much more the chocobo can do. Run, fast fire, underwater, breathing, even lava swimming? Yeah, that's cool. You find the chocobo breeder, he can sell you some of the basic kind of chocobos. So we gotta go buy a yellow chocobo. We can do that later. So let's see what we've got in a reward bag. And more. Cobalt tools. Okay, thanks. Um, let's see. So that takes care of the dragon and everything. Let's put that away. And let's put these engines in our engineering chest here. Alright, back to the tech tree. So it wants some fuel and oil. Okay, so one thing, one way to find things in a chest, I'm sure you already know this, but if you type in what you're looking for and then double click, it will highlight that item in a chest. And you can just run around and open every chest and it'll pop really bold once you find it. And I really would like to have an ME system. Liquid slime bucket. Another recent world had that in it. I put that book away though because it was... couldn't go to the surface. 
Any bad stuff. I'm gonna laugh if it's still in my bag. There it is, I found it. Yeah, because it was on one of my recent trips. All right, so let's submit that. Okay, which well, took it out of our inventory. Now, let's try really quick. I've been putting all our steel stuff in here because one day we're going to melt it down. And let's put the thon stuff in here. Don't need that quite yet. The clay pattern, stamp, finger, saddle. Oh, rare treasure. Let's see what this is. Ready, set. Ooh. 24 gold coins. And a golden apple and a splash potion of weakness. Hmm. 24 gold coins. What do we use gold coins? I think we trade them. I think I think I saw villagers were asking for gold coins. Looks like you can use in crafting recipes. For Project Red. You can craft three into a sovereign, coin of the realm, from Ardivis. And you can smelt them down in nuggets. Mm hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I think I saw. Well, I found a village, one of my one of my worlds, and I believe I saw. I'm keeping all my money in here, so I guess we'll keep it in here. And we can find somebody to trade it with. All right, so what I was going to do is going to look. We have a fuel page. There is glowstone, star filled, dirt, frozen lake. Yes, I've been doing lots and lots of exploring. Because they get to play a lot. Well, like, you know, the family's watching movies. No seas, north direction. I know we have. Aha! Fuel block. So, let's put away some of this stuff. Oh no, Kyle, let's put it in the right place. Got lots of condition sigils. None activated yet. Let's head over to the library real quick. Pop over and say hello. Thank you for the navy color page. Let's make a quick book here. I don't know how, it probably won't work very well, but let's try it. Don't want to be bothered too much with lots of syntax, but. I love this craft. It's so fun. We could probably use one of our portable tanks here for that as a reward. Oh, I gotta put I gotta bring this stuff back in my inventory. So these are uh, artifacts. And I've had a really good time with the beginning game artifacts because they give you some really nice effects. This one. So those three, th those three artifacts put my health up to 40 health. You can't. That's nothing to sneeze at. And then this one is really cool because it gives, provides illumination. So anytime you walk into a dark area like that, it lights up. It's like the light you'd never had, and always wanted. Let's throw this navy color in here because we don't need it. And planks. Okay, we've got buckets. Let's see if we were successful at all with our random age. Um, we need a book stand. Let's throw this book stand up here. Hello there. Hold that for me. Yep, thank you. Hey, where are you going? All right, let's teleport in this age and see if we can get some fuel. And I always have my orb ready, because once in a while, you don't spawn on the cobble platform like you're supposed to. There 
There's my charm. It's ready. Oh, that's so scary. All right, what is this? This looks like not fuel. Okay. Oh, the other the other the other artifact I really love that I have currently is the. I should have said. I should have told it uh, daytime. The deal with these mobs. Oh, I got random. Another quartz ore. That's kind of handy. I guess maybe I should have said oceans. Yeah, I could have done better syntax. I, or it was some syntax, I guess. I was just hoping it would just work, but sometimes it does. Ooh, what's that? That's looking kind of like fuel. And yes, hello, thank you very much. So I found the fastest way to manually bucket stuff is to have three buckets. Go one, two, three, and then roll the mouse wheel. One, two, three, roll the mouse wheel. Time to switch tanks. Three. Um, cool. Well, it did work. Lovely. Because, ironically enough, the reward for this quest <laughs> is the refinery. They need to process the oil. So it's like, oh, okay. Mm, if I hit these, they lose their. Contents, is that right? No, it didn't. Good. That's a lucky hit. Get oil. Get a iron. All right, time to go home. This home, yes. The other thing I discovered, and if you didn't catch that on a previous video, is that the charm of dislocation. The gets healed really well from the artifacts. I'll give you an example. If I take this recharging stone figurine of movement that gives me health boost, which is what I'm using it for, also gives you speed if you hold it. Um, if you click this, watch my charm dislocation on the right. It healed it with a click because it doesn't have a lot of dribbling. So let's go ahead and submit this fuel and move on. Uh, fuel bucket, manual submit. Mm, you don't like it? Apparently, it doesn't like my synthetic fuel. Hmm. Hmm. What if we put it inside? Let's make a new bucket. Maybe it'll like it if it comes from iron. a tank. Oh, it's doing that weird inventory thing to me. Aha! So this fuel <laughs> from the tank is a Buildcraft Energy fuel bucket. And the fuel that we found out in the Mistcraft world is artifice fuel. Interesting, but it worked. All right, let's stick our refineries in there and see what we got for reward. Eh. Thank you again, again. Cobalt tools. Next is an assembly table and a laser. Rewards us with basic gates. We have power, we have production, but man, if those items just didn't, well, not do what we want until we want them to do. Well, let's watch the pretty, pretty lasers build. So assembly table and a laser. Let's see. Assembly table is a diamond gear, obsidian, redstone, Diamond, diamond, 
Redstone. I tell you, these hobbits just need constantly. Get the gears going again. Redstone. I got the redstone. Let's see. Diamond gear is a gold gear. Gold gear is an iron gear. Iron gear. There we go. Oh, we could have used the shortcut. There is more than one type of gold gear. So when you gold, iron. That's all right. We got the achievement for it. Another achievement. Another achievement. Okay, we got assembly table. Now we need lasers. Laser. Got it. All right. Need more than one of those. All right, claim the reward. scrambled here. Let's put this in the engineering chest. Not the redstone, the basic gate. Laser. And let's see what's in a reward bag. Drop this fuel. Reward bag gave us. It's a epic reward bag. More cobalt tools. Thanks. Okay, so Last one, a builder and an architect table. We have the power, we have the logic. Now it's time to become kind of, sort of mobile. Technology can do all this. What does this button do? No, seriously, what happens when I turn this on? Builder and an architect table. All right, builder, that's a filler. Builder is two diamond gears, crafting table, landmark, Landmark is a redstone torch. And one more so redstone torch just moved to the engineering chest, yes. And lapis. Lapis. See yellow dye, yellow and ink. We have ink sacks, reward bag, and yellow, 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 yellow. Hmm. So I haven't picked any flowers. Let's go pick some. There's one. There's one. There's one. That's all we need. Smash that down into yellow dye. And we need a chest. Wood. Oh, planks is what we need. So let's run that around. And now we can make it. And what are we missing? Crafting table. Now what are we missing? We've got the yellow dye, we've got the... It probably just doesn't like the types of dye we have, so let's go ahead and just do it manually. There, and... Chest, diamonds, yellow dye, and we have ourselves a builder. Architect table is the same except for we need a blueprint. Lapis and paper. Should be in here. Still some from our miscraft table. Lapis. Oh, that was surrounded by paper, wasn't it?
table. Are we short one diamond gear? Oh man, okay. thing again. No, where'd it go? Iron in the middle. Gold. There they are, they're at the bottom. Probably like it's down at the bottom, I see it. Alright, diamond gears. And we short one yellow dice. I I realized I could have got more yellow dye by doing something else, but... Been doing a lot of tree growing. I'm angry at the rabbits because I'm pretty sure that they're responsible for my destruction of my ender lilies. Cut them eating them once. Holy moly! What is this? What, is somebody having a party? Rabbit! 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 Ah, oh, don't want to hit a hobbit. All right, so let's shove this in the oven. I don't do not want to eat that right now. Okay. All right, so the yellow dye. I remember there's a recipe to make that better. Mm. Oh, pulverizer. You get four. Yeah, that's not gonna happen yet. Let's just do this. All right, we're working our way through the tech tree. Architect table. Go. Uh, what does it like? Well, I guess it's probably the same thing. doesn't like the way we cover stuff. Oh, we need... Uh, I know what it is. We need another landmark. That's why I never make one of anything. It's just... Always need more later. Uh, lapis. Lapis on top of redstone torch and arctic table. Okay, it's crafting. Goes in the middle. Diamond, diamond. Dandelion, yellow. Ink. Landmark. Blueprint. Arctic table. And. Can't claim the reward because I have too much junk. Alright. Legendary reward bag. Looking forward to this. Where is my sack? Let's put some tools away. Alright, legendary bag. <laughs> Yay, more cobalt tools. Got a little chest off now. A little more variation. Builder, blueprint library, filler, arctic table. Awesome. Alright, is that it for the... That's it. <laughs> I like how they call it replication returns. That's awesome. Since the builder was removed previous because it was broken. All right, that's the Billcraft tree. Now let's run up the thermal expansion tree. Uh, we already have a portable tank. Is this going to count? Yep. Strong box, basic cash. Actually, we need a lot of tin for these recipes. Tin, tin, tin. Three different types of tin. Silly. Uh, let's see, we need a cache, basic cache, requires a log, and a strong box.
strong box. And did I call it or I call it? Ten. Chest. Let's get rid of this minority ten here. And then the second minority ten. Strong box. Done. Ooh, you gave me a better portable tank in exchange for the one I had. Thank you. And so these caches are interesting. There's a perfect opportunity to use this. Is that there we go. So I believe it works like a barrel. Yeah, see. So we don't really need the barrels mod on here anymore. Other than you can move spawners. Too much chunk. Alright, so that's the cache. Hardened strong box. What is how much that holds? Let's see. Eh. The diamond chests. Alright, so, although they are, you know, a lot cheaper. A greater reward bag gives me. Oh. Aha. Okay, we had that once before. So let's get rid of the quick boots. The emeralds. Go in there. This um, iron amulet of repair, basically you just hold it and then go AFK. And it will sit there and repair everything while you're AFKing. And we need food. So. Food, food, food. Is. I actually have a staff that feeds you. It's a shanked gold staff of light. But when you use it, it fills your f food bar. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Fun. Alright, why keep it with my B chest? I don't know. Let's put the blueprints away in our engineering chest. And, yeah. Okay, so, like the landmarks can go put away too. Just for crafting for a while. And won't need the build craft gears, I don't think. The Rotten flesh goes in mob traps. Alright, next step is Leadstone Energy Cell. Gives back a hardened, that's nice. You've done storage, but that's odd old news. Anyone can store items and move them around. What about energy? Who cares about Einstein, what, what Einstein says? However, said whoever said you had too much power obviously didn't have a, a place to put it. So, leadstone energy cell. We're going to need lead. Leadstone energy cell is frame. Block of redstone. Glass, lead, and redstone here. Block of redstone. And we can pull the glass out of the oven. Created. Now we need copper and electrum. I have Electrum because I like sticking stuff together like I said. So there's Electrum and Copper. Let's go ahead and make a coil. And then the cell. And submit it. Reward bag. Let's stick a hardened cell over here. Reward bag has no wrong button. This one. 
Oh, that's handy. More ink sacks. Blaze rods. Another quartz. Put the extra gold away. Extra tin away. And see what's next. Let's put these shears away. And put that away. Alright, what is next? Mm -hmm. Wow, automation is nice, but man, it is slow. Let's kick, up a notch. kick it up a notch. Machine has upgrades. Augment, secondary sieve. Augment, secondary sieve is any kind of wool, bronze, and more wool. I've got lots of wool. And I got lots of bronze. Okay, we got some augments. Two full to claim the reward. Engineering chest. Reward is an epic bag. Ah, oh, cool. We had this before. The witchery reward set. So we'll put that in with our other rich reward set. Or something else. Where is it? Mutandus. In fact, we use the whole stack of Mutandus outside. That's why we have all that Ember Moss and everything. Alright, so... Next up is... Take it with you! With all this new tech you're creating, it seems to consume large amounts of power, so... Sure, you can store it, but can you take it with you? And return to base is interfering with your adventures. Compact, check, useful, check. Leadstone flux capacitor. Leadstone flux capacitor requires copper, redstone, sulfur. We've got sulfur. Sulfur, yes, thank you. What don't you like? Maybe the wrong sulfur, wrong sulfur up. And. The one I have is the Lord of the Rings one. Railcraft, Thermal Foundation. I'll oh, forget this, let's put it in the recipe myself. Sulfur, redstone, lead, and redstone that's not. Ah, uh, man. Let's grab the other sulfur just in case. Okay, crafted. <laughs> Another dump chest. That'll work. Epic reward bag. Yeah, more ender stuff. Cool. Next up is Promethium Dust, Cryothrium Dust, and Flux Electrum. Hmm. The Flux Electrum, I believe we have a page for that. Or we're going to do the other way. Let's see. Flexed Electrum 
is Electrum Blend with the Stabilized Redstone of Fluid Transposer. Hmm. Let's see. I think we're going to finish that later. Let's go ahead and take a break, and uh, we will catch you next episode. Thank you for watching. I made it through a lot of quests, a lot of crafting today, and uh, we'll get back together with more crafting later. So this is Goshen Athelion signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, hope you're enjoying the show. And uh, leave comments and let me know what else we can do. Thanks.